Hi, Greg Sigel, mental toughness trainer for youth sports. I recently received an email from a sports parent of a basketball player. I'm just going to read you that email really quick. Hi, Craig. I've been following you for a little while now, and I have to say you have great stuff. I'm really impressed with the resources you're offering. As a former Olympic medalist in rowing, I understand the importance of the mental component of competition and training. Wondering if you can help me help you make $97. I'd love to buy your program for my son, but so far he said he's not really interested. A little background, he's a big 15-year-old basketball player that is really good, but could be so much better. Number one issue is assertiveness. It's getting better when he turns it on, he dominates. Many times he shrinks from the moment, plays tentative, and generally does not live up to what he displays in practice. I could be wrong, but that seems to be a mental thing, not physical. I showed him the video you have where you talk about the basketball player and perfectionism, and I think it made sense to him. I had him speak with a lady I know that does mental training, another Olympian, and she gave him some exercises that he said helped. His coach understands and has been giving him some ideas on preparing mentally. I just think what we're doing now is a little piecemeal and needs something more comprehensive, i.e. your program. When I mentioned to him, he said he'd rather just try the stuff he's been given for now. Made sense, and I think it got a little overwhelming for him, so I backed off. He had a game yesterday where he started strong, and then in the second half, when the other team started to get on a roll, he started to play tentative again. The coach sat him. I had to drive home and read your Ten Commandments for Parents article before I talked to him. I see what he needs to do and how much some comprehensive mental training could do to help, but I don't want to force it on him. It wouldn't work anyway. Any ideas on what I can say or do to lead him to the conclusion that he should give some mental training serious consideration and specifically your program? Thank you, Basketball Dad. So I wrote back to him. I said, hi, Basketball Dad. Good thing you went back to the Ten Commandments. So for starters, you want to pick your time and ask him if he would like your advice and feedback about his game. If he says no, then you have to honor that. Now, that doesn't mean you can't keep asking that periodically, and at some point, he will say yes. Ask him when and how it would be appropriate for you to offer that guidance. And once he does say yes, the best way, based on what you wrote here, for you to help him is to stick with asking questions. Try to get him to come to conclusions without telling him directly. For instance, you might say, so, son, what do you think held you back from performing your best in that second half today? A teenager's typical response to this will be, well, I don't know. And you might say, well, were you aware that you weren't playing as well in the second half? Well, what was that like for you? How did you feel when you noticed the other team catching fire? What did you observe about the other members of your team when that was happening? You see, your goal with these types of questions is to get him to recognize that his performance dropped off due to his perceptions, his thinkings, his thinking and his emotions right there in the midst of the game. And that there's no amount of practice or preparation that'll change that if the mind doesn't change, right? Now, if you find another good time, and of course, timing of these conversations is critical, then see if you can point to other games where his play dropped off or was exceptionally good and using questions only, get him to see that he plays good when he's thinking and feeling confident. Feel good equals play good, right? Too many athletes think that feel good just happens when some, by some magic and they just hope and pray that they fall into it again. And the fact is, it's something that can be developed and learned just like any physical skill. And the bottom line, your job is to get him to see that his mind determines his level of play and always has in the past. And he just hasn't made that connection yet. Some players never do and buy into the brainwashing of coaches that say, all you have to do is work harder. That's great advice, but there's countless athletes who work themselves to death and never made it to the next level. Now, in addition, here's some quotes you can use from some famous basketball players and coaches about the importance of the mental game. Bobby Knight, mental toughness is to physical as four is to one. Michael Jordan, you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. Kobe Bryant, everything negative, pressure, challenges is all an opportunity for me to rise. 
Once you've done the mental work, there comes a point you have to throw yourself into the action and put your heart on the line. That means not only being brave, but being compassionate towards yourself, your teammates, and your opponents. Bill Jackson, one of the greatest NBA coaches of all time. From Rick Pitino, failure is good. It's fertilizer. Everything I've learned about coaching, I've learned from making mistakes. Can you see how these are mental? Bud Wilkinson, morale and attitude are the fundamentals to success. Dan Frisbee, basketball is like photography. If you don't have focus, all you have is the negative. From Isaiah Thomas, Hall of Famer, I used a lot of visualization in terms of who I would be guarding and who would be guarding me. When I was walking down the street for, say, lunch, I'd imagine those individuals in front of me. In front of me. I'd imagine going around them. Here's another one. You have to be able to center yourself to let go of all your emotions. Don't, don't ever forget that you play with your soul as well as your body. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Good luck with convincing your young man. I'm here if you have any more questions. Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer for youth athletes.